Once upon a time, in a distant land, two remarkable brothers named Manasseh and Ephraim lived. They were the sons of Joseph, a prominent man in Egypt, and their mother was an Egyptian named Asenath. Manasseh, whose name means the one who makes forget, was the firstborn, and his name reflected Joseph's joy, as he had overcome many hardships in his life. Ephraim, whose name means prosperity or fruitful, followed. Joseph exclaimed that God had made him prosper in a foreign land. These two brothers played a vital role in the history of Israel, as they were the forefathers of two tribes. Though we lack many details about their personal lives in the Bible, their legacy is significant. A pivotal moment in their story occurred when their grandfather Jacob bestowed his blessing upon them. Interestingly, even though Manasseh was the elder son, Jacob crossed his hands, placing his right hand on Ephraim's head, granting him the primary blessing. This indicated that Ephraim's descendants would be more prominent than those of Manasseh. Over time, Manasseh and Ephraim became founding leaders of tribes in Israel. Ephraim, in particular, held a special place in history, as Joshua, a prominent leader in the conquest of the Promised Land, descended from his lineage. The tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim eventually settled as part of the twelve tribes of Israel. Manasseh's tribe occupied territories east of the Jordan River, while Ephraim's tribe established itself to the west of the river. Despite their separate geographical locations, both tribes played crucial roles in the life of Israel. Ephraim's descendants, in particular, produced notable leaders. Joshua, one of the most well-known, was a courageous leader who guided the Israelites in their conquest of the Promised Land. He hailed from the tribe of Ephraim and played a pivotal role in Israel's history. Manasseh's tribe also contributed to the nation's development, as during the time of the judges, Gideon, one of the most famous judges of Israel, came from the tribe of Manasseh. Gideon led the Israelites in their fight against their enemies and played a pivotal role in the liberation of his people. Throughout the history of Israel, these two tribes, descendants of Manasseh and Ephraim, left a significant mark. Their leaders influenced the nation's destiny and the preservation of Israel's faith in God. So, even though the Bible doesn't provide us with many details about the personal lives of Manasseh and Ephraim, their legacy endured through generations and contributed to the development and history of the people of Israel. Before his death, Jacob gathered his sons to give them his final blessing. This was a momentous occasion in the history of Manasseh and Ephraim because their grandfather Jacob gave them a special blessing that altered the course of their destiny. Jacob knew that Manasseh and Ephraim were the sons of Joseph and, therefore, his grandsons. However, when Joseph presented his sons to Jacob, he positioned them so that Manasseh, the firstborn, was on Jacob's right and Ephraim, the younger, was on his left. Jacob, who was nearly blind due to old age, extended his hands to bless the children but crossed his arms. He placed his right hand on Ephraim's head and his left hand on Manasseh's. Upon seeing this, Joseph tried to correct his father's placement, thinking that Jacob had made a mistake due to his impaired vision. However, guided by the Spirit of God, Jacob refused and asserted that he knew what he was doing. He then pronounced a special blessing over Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, The God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all harm, bless these boys. May they be called by my name and the names of my fathers Abraham and Isaac, and may they increase greatly on the earth, Genesis 48 verses 15-16. This blessing not only meant that Ephraim and Manasseh would be regarded as Jacob's sons but also that they would receive an inheritance equal to that of their uncles, Jacob's sons. 
This was a blessing of prosperity and growth, marking a turning point in their history. Enter the fascinating story of Ephraim and Manasseh, where history unveils the rise of these tribes in the intricate tapestry of Israel. As they grew, these tribes revealed their power and fertility, making substantial contributions to the history of Israel. Ephraim and Manasseh evolved into leading tribes, leaving an indelible mark on the promised land. Through their grandfather Jacob's blessing, Manasseh and Ephraim emerged as foundational tribes in Israel's history, playing a pivotal role. Essential in fulfilling God's promise to Abraham, which was to transform his descendants into a powerful and blessed nation, Jacob's blessing marked a turning point in the history of these two tribes. As prophesied, these tribes multiplied and had a profound impact on Israel's history. Ephraim and Manasseh settled in the Promised Land alongside the other tribes of Israel following the exodus from Egypt. Their territory was situated west of the Jordan River in the mountainous region of Canaan. As their numbers and strength grew, their influence became increasingly evident. One of the standout figures from the tribe of Ephraim was Joshua, who played a crucial role in the conquest of Canaan and in the distribution of land among the tribes of Israel. Joshua was a fearless and obedient leader, and Ephraim was instrumental in the realization of the promised land's conquest. Before we continue with this biblical explanation, I ask if you like to know more about the Bible and understand all its stories and secrets, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Don't forget to leave your like so that YouTube recommends all the videos for you. Continuing The tribe of Manasseh also played a prominent role in Israel's history. Gideon, one of Israel's most renowned judges, hailed from the tribe of Manasseh. Under his leadership, the Israelites defeated their enemies and experienced times of peace. As time passed, Ephraim and Manasseh continued to play a significant part in the life of Israel. Their descendants intermingled with other tribes, enriching Israel's diversity and cultural heritage. Jacob's blessing upon Ephraim and Manasseh was abundantly fulfilled throughout Israel's history. These tribes not only prospered in terms of population but also left a significant imprint on the nation's history through their ancestry and leadership. At key moments, they bore witness to God's faithfulness to the promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, when we read about Ephraim and Manasseh in the Bible, we're reminded of how Jacob's blessing transformed the destiny of these tribes and how they played an essential role in the history of the people of Israel. The story of Ephraim and Manasseh serves as a powerful lesson about how blessings and promises can influence the course of history. Through Jacob's blessing, these two tribes became numerous and played a crucial role in Israel's history. Their influence and leadership showcased God's faithfulness to the promises made to the patriarchs. This story also reminds us that our personal blessings and promises can have a lasting impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Like Ephraim and Manasseh, we may face challenges and obstacles, but faith in God and His promises can lead us to a bountiful future. Don't miss out on our future biblical adventures. Additionally, if you have a specific story you'd like us to tell or any questions about the Bible, leave a comment. We're here to help you explore the wonderful world of God's Word. Thank you for being part of our community and for your interest in the Bible. May God's peace and blessings be with you always.